Let's say you're going through some real shit right now in life and you can't really find anything that makes you feel good or actually feel happy on a daily basis. Well, if you've been following me, you know I've got a series of processes and step-by-step -step system for doing pretty much anything in my life. But in this video, I want to share my own personal system of daily rituals that when I get derailed and life goes to hell and I don't feel well for a long period of time, I do these things daily and in a matter of time, I'm back to my normal self again. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now I've included the first link in the description is for a free goal setting worksheet to plan out your best year. Now that's gonna help you figure out what specific habits to do to have an awesome year, and in this case, also feel good on a daily basis. So check it out right there, the first link in the description. So my five daily rituals that I start doing immediately when I don't feel well, emotionally, all right, so it's internally not feeling well, are very, very simple things, all right? They're simple rituals, you track them every single day, you remove all the other goals and the focuses in your life until you feel better again. So for me, the first thing is to sleep eight hours. Now what's crazy about sleep is that you can actually induce an acute state of mental illness in anyone, in an emotionally healthy, happy person, if you deprive them of enough sleep. And I've noticed that many of us have these kind of issues when we're going through breakups, when we're an entrepreneur, in a state of stress from school or death or divorce. Any one of these things can induce insomnia. And if you're sleep deprived enough, you can create a state of mental illness but you're fine, you just need more rest. So I allow myself to get eight hours of sleep. I do whatever it takes to sleep eight hours. The second thing is I exercise every single day for one hour. Now, I already have an exercise ritual of going to the gym and going to yoga a total of four days a week. But when I'm in an acute state where I really don't feel well daily, for whatever reason, I make sure I exercise one hour a day, seven days a week, ideally outside. Now there are studies showing that exercise can possibly be as effective as antidepressants or better, but I just know anecdotally in my own life, the reason I put going to the gym at the end of the day, like around five or six, is because no matter how stressful my day is, no matter what negative emotions I feel, no matter how angry or agitated or tired I feel, when I get out of the gym, it's like I push the reset button on my insides. Everything is clear. I'm good. And whatever I have to do in the evening, I can get through because I just cleared the 12 hours previously in the day. The third thing is that I eat healthy, simple, light meals. I just make the simple meal that I eat over and over and over again. I cook a bunch of rice, I cook a bunch of vegetables, and I cook a bunch of protein, and I mix all three, and that's basically what I eat three meals a day to keep my life super simple. I found that in my own life, the less I eat, the better I feel. Right? It's hard to feel good internally, emotionally, when internally you feel bloated, you feel full, you feel constipated, you can't sleep because you're indigested from eating too late. I find that the lighter I eat, and the more I'm focused on being so enthralled with life that I don't even notice that I'm not eating or I haven't eaten in a while, the better I feel. The fourth thing I do is I meditate for 20 minutes. Now, when it's the most acute, Whatever's going on, it could be the death of someone you love, it could be something going on with your parents. The more acute it is, the more I force myself to meditate multiple times a day. Now, these days I tend to mix Qigong with meditation because Qigong is something that gets your body involved and it's, I feel like it's easier to distract yourself when your mind wants to wander. But the whole point is to train the watcher to watch yourself. To train yourself to recognize there's something speaking in your head other than you, it's two people. And when you can watch the watcher, you know that this, whatever is up in here, is just commenting on stuff in life. And the more you don't get caught up in that narrative, that comment, this thread going on, the more you can realize it's okay for all of this, all these narrative pop-ups and bubbles, it's okay. They're not me, it's just stuff coming up. I'm just tired, it's just, I'm going through some stuff. It's just stuff. The more I can meditate, and I really have to force myself, it's not an easy habit, the more I find myself 
in a clearer state of mind. And the fifth step for me is I instantly text every single person I know and I ask them if they need help with anything. They might need help with moving, with studying something, with cleaning their yard, with relationship advice, whatever it is. I text everybody I know that day and I say, hey, how's life been? Do you need help with anything? What I found that has made a humongous difference in my life is that if I just stop worrying about my own problems just for a day and I help other people, I leave in an amazing mood. I forgot about my problem. I forgot about how crappy I felt. And this person is super grateful. And I should have been doing that all along. But I got caught up in my own drama, my own emotions, my own pain. And instead, if I just focused on helping somebody else, which is what we should be doing all the time, but we easily forget, you forget about what's going on, you feel amazing, and you just leave feeling different. So I actually will reach out to as many people as possible or volunteer or go wherever I can help somebody else and I make that my mission. And I find that over time, when I do these five daily rituals, you know, usually within one day I feel better, but usually within a week or two or three weeks, I have my first full week where I feel like myself again. I feel normal, I feel good. Every day is smooth internally. I feel that bubbliness of being happy again. So for you, I hope this helps. This is kind of my get derailed in life process, if you want to call it that. Kind of cheesy, but I'm just being honest. Like, I think it's all about habits. So if you embody the habits that keep you grounded again, it's just a matter of time before you'll feel like yourself again and you'll feel good again. So if you're derailed in life or something's come up, try these five rituals. Do them with iron discipline every day. It doesn't matter if you want to, force yourself because you're going to start feeling better right away. And it won't be that long before you feel like you're back to yourself again. So I hope that helps you guys. Before you go, the first link in the description is for a free goal setting worksheet. That's going to help you plan out what exact habits to not only have your best year ever, but also in this case, to feel like yourself again. So you can click the first link in the description to download those and then check out my related video on this exact topic right there and right there.